All right, folks, with an hour left to trade, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 500 points. Stocks, of course, getting a lift today from a Jay Powell. And now I think all eyes are going to shift. We got some, some retail numbers after the close, but all eyes are going to shift to the G20 meeting. Uh, I want to bring in now uh, the owner of Stock Solution, Melissa Armo, also back with us, Gary B. Smith. Melissa, let me start with you. You're a chartist. Uh, you know, we just had Jeff Sutt on. Some key numbers he was looking at held up. He's really bullish. He's talking 3,000 by the end of the year. What do you think? That's certainly, the that's certainly doable. By the end of 2019, I think he said, not 2018, right? No, this year. Uh, that I'm not going to commit to, but I will say this. I'm, <laughs> I'm very bullish on the market. I believe there's a possibility between now and the next 10 days, we could, we could have a lot more volatility than people are thinking after this good news and the rally today. We might have another steep drop off. We might, what sparks and then turn what sparks back around drop off? because there's so much going on right now with this summit coming up. And even though we just had this great news today that they might hold off in rates, we don't know. I'm telling you, there's, it's not all clear skies and sailing yet, but it might be within the next 10 days if this summit goes well. Tariffs is more important than rates. I always felt like that as far as the effect on the market because right. the market is so worried about tariffs, right. and they're just worried the costs are going to go going to go crazy. Yeah. I've always felt the exact opposite, in part because corporate America has been much more worried about the strong dollar. In fact, people are shocked when I tell them in the third quarter, Gary B., more comp less companies complain about tariffs than in the second quarter. It was a dramatic drop-off. Be that as it may, though, uh, market participants do have to look at this G20. I think the good news, expectations are so low. What do you think? It's true. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, uh, you know, the whole tariff story has been overblown. It's just, you know, the full effect of the tariffs is such a small uh, impact on the combined economies, the multi-trillion dollar economies of uh, China and the United States, that it just really can't have much of an impact on uh, on GDP. I'm more concerned, though. You know, Melissa mentioned the volatility. So, you know, one thing, even from our earlier discussion with Gary Kay, the fact that the market's up on, you know, 533 points, because Powell basically said, yeah, we, I could raise rates again. <laughs> it just it seems to be a little overreaction on the upside, but maybe that's pent up demand. I'm more concerned, not so much about tariffs. G20 is, yeah, I think, a, a rounding error. I'm more concerned about all the politics, the Mueller investigation, any of that stuff coming out. Man, I'll tell you what, the whole mainstream media, and it seems that every department under um, Trump is out to get them. And if that many people are focused, there's bound to be something there. That's what I worry about. Not so much the economy, not so much corporate earnings, right. which, you know, right. I, I think you're implying are, are pretty darn good out there. But, you know, these uh, kind of black swan events, if you will. That probably would be the black swan event. Uh, so let me ask you, Melissa, today, for instance, just, you know, with all this good, the market up, Burlington having a fantastic session, but Tiffany's not having a fantastic session. We've kind of seen this where the high-end retailers haven't done necessarily that well. We heard last week in the Michigan sentiment number that the top one-third of, of household incomes, their sentiment went down. Uh, you know, so this uh, interesting bifurcation going on in this economy. Is there something beyond the charts and, and the momentum and the action in the markets that we should be concerned about? With retailers specifically? Well, with, the, or? with the economy or, or, or just... No, no, no. We just had a huge shopping week. My goodness, what were those numbers? I don't know. It was close to $8 million, seven, some million or billion it was. Right. I don't even know what the numbers were. You know. You covered it. I mean, it was we, people spent so much money in the last couple of days between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. No, people are spending money. I think people are going to have a good holiday season. I said that, and I think the market holds the uptrend. So, but as so far as... Peak, we, would it be peak then? Could it get any peak. better than that? In other words, another theme this year has been it's peak earnings, it's peak spending, it's peak auto. Have we peaked in this economy. No, the economy has not peaked. I believe the market makes brand new all-time highs again. I believe the Dow goes to 27,000. I think the SPY goes up and hits that number two that that gentleman said. I'm just not committing to the end of 2018. I think it's too soon to say. So you're going to buy yourself and 13 months. That's, that's maybe, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gary, Gary B., Melissa, you, I think you both make great points. We appreciate it, folks. Dow Jones Industrial Average 